Hello everybody and welcome once again to Forever Stranded. Oh look, that chorus plank behind me is still working. And I also found out where that zombie spawned. Let me show you the spot because it doesn't make any sense to me is why I shouldn't be spawning in a normal night, not a blood moon, at this particular part, spot. So it was here, just beside this torch. Incredible. In fact, there's quite the to do it all the time. They spawn all the time. It's driving me crazy. But let's have a look first of all at two things. Let's go and get some copper. Before I start with the environmental tech, which I have prepared, let's take four. Because I was having difficulty getting things onto this conveyor belt here. So have a look. What mask have I got in at the moment? A gear, perfect. I put in the vertical conveyor here, so let me just turn my magnet off. Shift right click it and then just put out these four here. Drop those in front. They get picked up. And because there's only four, which is the size of that, they get stamped into a gear. So I found that the easiest way to put things into this conveyor for the time being. So what else have we got down here? Oops. Have I got auto jump on again? Oh good, I've got some more iodine and some more cobalt. I bet I've got no more redstone in here. I haven't. And get some more redstone before I forget. I've also been doing some tests with power. Now power's also is actually how many have I got to it? 19. It's going down a bit actually. I'll have to get some more. Make sure it's all running fine. But my system's a bit backlogged. And it's backlog with compressed sand. And I needed the compressed sand because of, I didn't need the compressed sand, because of sky dust. And it's getting backlogged here. So this has got plenty of stuff in it. It's actually taking, it's a bit slow, the, um, the thin transfer node to, to bring this into here. It's sort of working, but it's just a weeny bit on the slow side. I'd like that to be faster. But if I look back here, and this compressor I've got, that's fine. This one's full. Stacked off, things waiting to be processed. So, having done the compressed sand bit over here, I've got plenty of power. There's no shortage of power here. Let's have a look. Yep, they're all full with power, so that's no problem. And this one is actually going down at the moment. It seems to go up and down about. Don't ask me why. Oops, wrong button. But what I did here is just, I decided to replace this bunch of magmatic crucibles because each one of these lava um, crucibles or crucibles producing lava is actually not producing lava fast enough for the upgraded magmatic, magmatic dynamos. So what I did here is I set up four sterling generators and each of these sterling generators has got an octatic capacitor in. Like that. And they're all burning. Now, the trouble is, well, if you call it not trouble, really. You see, they've got no buckets of lava in there. But, having said that, the lava production is sufficient to, provide, to, to power three. So what happens is, you can just see in this tank here, it's just got up to about half a, half a bucket. When a bucket goes into there, it gets fed to one of these first. In fact, it gets fed to the top one first. Then it gets fed to the one on the right. And then the one on the left, but it never gets to this one because it, if the second time when there's already got lava in there, it puts it back into the the second one first, so it's always got a bucket of lava in here. That's the general way that seems to be working. So maximum is three, so I don't really need this one. Let's remove it from here. We'll use it somewhere else for that particular supply. But anyway, it's producing 240 RF per tick, which is enough. To to power these machines. They've all got enough power in oops, I shouldn't do that, should I? Take a pickaxe. They've all got they're all full of power. So that's not bad. So I'm generating enough power to to do all of these machines, as you can see. Um I don't know what I'll do with this cable. Actually I probably could remove this cable, but I'll do that another time. Let's have a quick look down here, see what we're getting. The only reason I've got this down the bottom is we're ready to do next, and they're almost ready to get another bucket of lava. And these things have got, how much burn time? About seven minutes left, I think. 
nine minutes nine minutes so the next bucket will go into here and then it'll come and the one after will go into there and the last one will come into here so this is likely to run out but i think we've got enough power stored in here see now it's going up so for that to keep running and if i really want to i can bring this across but i wanted to test if i was getting enough power being produced which it looks like we are just it's always a balancing game in minecraft isn't it so now the next thing I want to do is to get this environmental tech stuff built. I think I'm going to go and do it in the base because I want to set up AE2. I've already prepared most of it. Is I think it's in actually it's in it's in the system now, isn't it? Let's have a look. See, and last time I was trying to do the, these quark ones and they didn't work in that. But if I actually let's have a look at that. Let's go back to that again. Sorry, I'll actually get it right this one here let's have a look at the uses of that because you can of course you can make magic um books and stuff like that but you can also where has it gone to the sawmill this is the one you can put into the sawmill the quart ones you can't but the minecraft ones you can so and you actually almost get back as much as you put in it's just three books and, th and six planks is what you put in to get bookshelves so that's fine so that's quite a good way as well right I want to do this and I think I want to do it around about here because here I've set up this wireless receiver now I've moved the power generation to below in here I'm doing the same trick and these are basically producing uh, 80 RF per tick each one so I'm getting 240 RF from here and it's basically for free isn't it all we're doing is got cobble gen which is and that's basically everything from cobble gen so it's pretty cheap to run and it's given me 240 RF which is now pro supplying power to these machines back here in fact I probably could take this one out from underneath here wouldn't it might be a bit neater to do it that way do that sometime but what I want to do is I want to stick on the roof of the, the ship the um, environmental tech solar panel and I want to do it around about that I'll tell you what I'll do let's say it comes up here no let's do it here i might knock a hole in here to start with then we got a, a hole what did that disappear to i've got the magnet turned off now i picked it up so all right so what i've prepared already i think i prepared it in here yes I have so I've got these 16 hardened stone structural box tier 1 I've got the assembler I've got the manual and I've got what do we need now I think there's more bits and pieces I need I think everything's in here that I need for that I need the core that's for certain um, I'm being blind oh yes I need nine solar cells and 60 blocks let's have a look at that manual again make sure we've got I've got everything prepared I think I have so we want the solar array tier one which is this one so we need 16 structural box tier one or above nine solar cells and four modifier cores of any version upgraded version okay I think I forgot what they look like so maybe I've got them in here let me just check what they actually look like Modifier cores. I think that these ones here can be used in place of any modifier. So that was just blocks of iron, stone, and some clear glass from environmental tech. I don't think I've actually made those yet, but I've got the clear glass provided. I've got some stone here, and I've got some. What was the third thing I've forgotten already? Ah, oh, yes, blocks of iron. That's it. So we can simply craft those up. And it will, with this, the indexer, I should be able to do that as well. So let's have a look here. Let's just press Shift and Plus because there are all those items in my inventory, and I should get the four I want. Here we go. Get achievement modifications. So what are the modifiers? Speed.
modifier, accuracy modifier, that might be a good one to do. Uh, if I can do mica, what's mica made out of? So it's the void resource miner we have to get to get mica. Okay, so I can't do this at the moment, but we can do this one, I think. So I need a couple of blocks to place. Oh, I need the core. That's the next important bit, of course, and I completely forgot about that. So let's look for the solar panel core. It's not called core, let's have a look, solar. So this one here. So we need these blocks of gold and the solar cell. I think I've got a solar cell. Maybe I need to make another one. I've got nine, I do need another one. Boops. Okay, so I need for that, I need at least three of these things. Two, three, and I think I need some hardened stone. Let me just have a look at that recipe again. These photovoltaic cells from Environment Tech are those. So solar panel is those. Oh, just some more clear glass and some redstone and iron. So, was it two redstone? I think it was two redstone, one of those. Um, and glass I've already got in here. Let's have a look. Can I do this yet? Yes, I can. Great. Okay, so that's that one. So then the core, we basically need blocks of gold. So we need four blocks of gold. 4936. Certainly do hammer my gold usage in this. Oops, that's not going to help very much. Take a stack. And then we need to half the stack, put four in. And then just put that away somewhere. Let's press five and put it back. I think I made too many messages actually. I was sieving some leaves because I needed some more um, uh, slime balls. And the best way I found, I don't think there's a sensible way to do that. But there were some scrap boxes. And these are interesting scrap boxes. Now, scrap boxes are made from this thing here. I've got the recycler here. It's probably full of scrap, as it usually is. Makes interesting noises, industrial craft machines. And then I could just simply. I'll put the scrap into here like that, and then I shift right click this one and you get some scrap boxes because it's basically just a nine matrix of scrap. So, the recipe for that was just scrap in a, in a nine. So, what you do with these things, you right click them and you get something back again like meat. Don't that's what was that? Rubber. I wouldn't, that's really useful. It's a bit like a it's a bit useless, I must be honest. Got some leather. Where'd I go then? Oh, I've got no space. Let's go outside and make sure I've got space. Wooden tools, just brilliant. What's this one? A filled tin can, industrial cast. Oh. So that's what you do with those. I'm not going to do that. It's a little bit like a loot chest, isn't it? They're fairly useless. So, right, dirt and and grass blocks ain't too bad. And I've got stacks of rubber. And tools, well, wooden tools. I think I'm going to put those in the trash can. Right, okay. But I do want two blocks of something. Let's just take two blocks of dirt. Would actually be good. Yeah, two blocks will be fine. So what you do, and I haven't, have I built that core yet? I don't think I have, have I? Let's just put the core. Where is my core recipe? This one. I should be able to. Oh, did I pick up the diamond time? Yes, I did. Why can't I do that? Uh, I need to do it the, this one. Maybe I can do this one. I'll try that. Board, portable crafting good. Right, great. Phew. So what you do, I believe, I think everything goes up from this. What have I got here? A, solar, a, wind, a, wind, a windmill, haven't I? Let me just remove this. I don't need it. They're fairly useless, actually. The windmills give one, one RF per tick. So I can remove this. No, I'll leave that alone. And they put this on the top of this. That's why. Like, I think I'm having a little think here. 
tell you what I'll do, I'll put it at one more block. Like that. Oh, I really want it here, that's the way I put it at one more block. Like that. And then I'll remove these things. Oops, if I can those. I'll take the pickaxe and just get the corner up here. There's no risk of hitting this. Now, what you're supposed to be able to do, I've never done this, it's the first time, is you're supposed to be able to right click this with the um, assembler and it puts the blocks out for you in the right pattern. Mm -hmm. Am I too high? I think they all go above, or the same level or above. Multi block complete. There you go. So now, of course, it's night time. This thing will be producing 640 about RF per tick, which is good because that's about the maximum of um, the cable. So, have I got some energy cables on me? I have. Well, I've got them in here. Uh, not at energy, I just need energy, don't I? I've got 17 left. Probably have to make some more of these. So we can take some of them, when they're coming, we can start putting them down. So I was going to put them down like this. I'm probably going to have to build another capacitor bank, aren't I? There we go. To actually test and see how well these perform. So they're coming in down here, and then, well... I've got a bank here, but it's going to be full, isn't it? What is it? It's just a basic capacitor bank. Let's remove this basic capacitor bank and upgrade it. So I think I need... Let's have a look. Oh, it's just trying to turn it around, isn't it? So we go. Yeah, it's just a basic capacitor bank that stores 1 million RF. That's a bit, a bit useless, so we want a better one. So we can make this one fairly easy because you can reuse that one in that. So all we need is some energetic alloy and a double layer capacitor, which isn't too bad. Let's see what we've got in our, in our store already for that. That one I want, doesn't it? That should bring in the items I want. I should have enough energetic alloy. I've been making loads of that. Well, a stack or so. I won't exaggerate too much. So therefore I'm going to have to make a one of these, which I can move the items for that. I should have, I should have enough. Maybe I've got even redstone blocks. No, I probably haven't. Let's get a redstone block. In fact, we'll get a stack of redstone. And we'll get some gold. I need 416, don't I? So I'll take that out of there. Half that, half that, and put those two down here. Put that back again. What else do I need for that? I need gold, redstone, and copper. Oops, that made me jump. One, two, three, four. That's just a, a vanilla process for farming, by the way. So, I wanted four basic capacitors, don't I? Actually, I need double that, because I need to make... No, I don't, because I've got those already made. They're in here. No, they're not. They're, they're elsewhere. <laughs> Whoops. Right, back to this. Back to the drawing board. So now I've got these capacitors, and I want to make a basic capacitor bank. I just need the redstone. Let's make the redstone into a block. And that should be roughly what we need. Let's move those items. Good. So we've now got our two basic capacitors. And then what else do we need for that? I think that's almost everything. Oh, a double air capacitor. I should have a double air capacitor about somewhere. It wasn't in that chest. And it's not in here. Let's just see if I can get the ingredients. I did move them in last time, so it didn't work. So, all right. So we need two more capacitors. Let's get the ingredients for that. 
Two more capacitors, one copper, eight gold. Four redstone. And then we need the energetic aloe and the coal dust. Oops, wrong, wrong place. Oops, I didn't get enough gold. Oops. Try that again. Now I've got four, that's fine. Did I... Am I cracking up? Did I only get one piece of copper? Right, try that again. Throw one of these, what we're we missing. Energetic calorie six and pulverized coal one. Oops, again, press the wrong button. Fat, I should be able to do that from here, shouldn't I? Let's just move the items. If I'm in the right place, of course. Which I'm not. This time it works, so I should now be able to make the capacitor bank. This one. I'll have to do that in here, of course. Great. And of course, it's charging up very fast. Let's go quickly over here and put it on the top of this and see if we're actually getting any power as well. I'm not put it. You know, I can't put it there, and you know why? Let's put it on the side of this hopper because of the jizzling bits here. It just breaks it. You can't do it. But I could be able to do this one. Can I not put that on there either? Oh, I have to get rid of this chisel and bit stuff. Mm -hmm. Now, I have got a chisel somewhere about and a bag. So let's just go in here and get those two out of there. It's chisels with an S, and I should have it. Have I not got one there? I thought I kept those in one. I don't, maybe it's not being picked up. I'll have to go and look for it. Tell you what, I'm not going to look for it. I'm just going to break those blocks. It'll be, it'll be the quickest way, won't it? What have we got here? Let's take flinty. Yeah, that'll do that. Well, now will it attach? Yes, it will. Great. So let's have a look. What are we getting? 500 RF per tick, 445 RF per tick. That's pretty good. I'm happy with that. So with this now, I can go and set up the AE system that I've already got stuff prepared for. And I'm pretty certain everything's in that underneath. Let me go and check. And I'll be back in a minute. Well, I'm back. I found them, they're in this chest here, as you can see, when you double click this, chisels is there, so, double click that again, and you can see everything, so you've got your chisel stuff here, chisel some bits, there's no filter on there, so I don't know why this is not finding them, I'd expect to see those items in here, it's the same with applied actually, applied energetics, nothing showing up, but they're in the first chest, as you can see. I was going a bit, oh, where is everything? And you actually get 16K um, storage cells as, an up, as, a, as a, a reward as well. So I'm going to have to basically take those out. What do I want? I want, well, I've got a modular assembler here. But I want the chest. Oh, that's the chest. And I want energy acceptor. I think that'll do to start with. I don't think I need two sets of those. I'm going to move stuff into here. So that's what I'm going to do. Now, it's been a long time since I've actually used applied energistics. So I'm just thinking about where I'm going to put everything. So when I figure that out, I shall come back. I'll see you in a few minutes. Hello, everybody. Awesome. I'm back again. Been busy, actually, just doing a few things. I moved the things around. So, 
Edrio is here, so I've now moved it over here, and underneath this, I've put some energy and some item conduit. So in, so the items will end up in this chest. So when I've been smelting or grinding, they'll come in here. Um, on this side, I've put, well, basically I put the energy acceptor down here, and then beside it, I put the ME chest and the molecular assembler. It's been a long time since I played with this, so. You can, I'm quite happy enough to put items in here. I've got a stunning generator in here, which is probably don't need. Well, just as a test to make sure everything's powered up and working. And also moved the solar panel. Have I got that on? Just, just a second. I've got, I've got auto jump on again. I'm sure I turn this off. Let me just go to options, controls, auto jump. Yeah, it is off. Oh, maybe it's just my imagination. So I moved the solar panel over from one side to the other. So I said, let me just pick up these energy conduits while I'm here, which I think is probably a better location for it. I'm just not sure how to do something actually. Here I've got. It says I've got a block. Well, that's because yes, because I've got the Yeti wrench band. I'm not sure where the chisels and bits and you can paint chisel and bits bit, items. And I'm also not sure how to use chisels and bits that much. To be honest with you, I haven't played with it that much, but. I thought I could do things like this. So I'd have a. Has it gone to? It's in my bag now, isn't it? T. Just got a template like this, and then just craft the template blank. So what's it say? Right click to write, and right click to place or craft items back. So I thought I just had to right click this one here like that, and that would take a pattern of that. And then I could right click on this one. Oops. And that's put everything in, not in my bag. My bag's full. Oh, of course, yeah. That was also daft. I moved the bags out of the here and put them into here. Let's just do it like that. And everything gets put into there. That's good. I've got two bags. Let's just put the other one down here. So that didn't work. So I, I thought I could place it on top. So anyway, I think there's another mode. So if I hold Alt, if I do placement and right click that, it seems to not work. And I don't know why. So if anybody knows why that's not working, please let me know, because it would help. Anyway, what do I want to do with that one? So I'm pretty sure that the indexer, I upgraded to 1.8.8. I'm pretty sure in the indexer we could do things like um, the at, so uh, whatever we've got. So immersive, oops, not immersive, immersive, and you would get the items, but it doesn't seem to be working now. Maybe that's the regression. So, for example, um, what do we want? Crystal. What did I just type there? Crystal. So you can get your crystals. Now, these are applied energetics. So if I go applied, I can't seem to get in the right place today. Applied. You're not seeing them, and I'm sure that worked in the previous version. So just a, war, a word of warning for the for everybody else. If that's how you were used to using it, it's not working anymore. So, did I look downstairs? I basically just, underneath here, I just dragged everything through. So a quick look downstairs before, before I close up. And as you can see here, I've still got these, any, uh, generators and they're coming across here so that is coming into the energy acceptor so we're always getting power into the energy acceptor and at least we're getting it we're getting actually a little bit more usage than we did before but we've got plenty of power i think well i hope so anyway i don't know when i start to use it, uh, applied in so i think it starts to use a lot of power so hopefully that solar panel will power it up it just comes down through here and I put some conduits and that's good out of there. Now, let's get outside and have a look. I don't think there's any, it's night time as usual. And the, and you can hear the chimes tingling away in the background. So that basically means there's a storm. Now, if you look on, on me, I've got something else on my person. So I've got this basic capacitor pack, which is fully charged. And also on the helmet, I've added Solar 3 onto it. That takes some work, I can tell you. So... The idea is I want to go on a trip. And the reason I want to go on a trip is because in this map there are actually four big cities. 
Not the one we found. We found one over there on the east side, and the others just, I don't know where they are yet, so I'm going to go and explore. So, in order to make sure that my thing, the devices are still working, like the, the portable temperature and the thirst quencher, quencher, I've got this one applied. So I don't need to worry about flying. I did a, put mending on all of these things because they actually it's slowly work, it's slowly working. These got repaired very quickly. The boots were quite quite well damaged actually. They've been broken fairly soon. So mending's been great. Didn't cost too much XP except to produce the mending, and I did that on that um, Ender IO Empower or Enchanter. So thank you very much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye for now.